Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up for the next seven days. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. That card flipped over. So, wow. Well, I guess we'll just take these. Anyhow, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days. Cat. A two-faced friend. Bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. Not unsuccessful plans. So... You're going to get a compliment from somebody. It doesn't appear that they are your friend. It will not end successfully. So, just keep that in mind. This person is two-faced. They may be after one thing. Okay? And these can always go vice versa. But what is a cat? Ten of Wands reversed. Two of Wands, the Star, you are protected in some way, Seven of Wands, Four of Wands reversed, and the Chariot. So these fell out, I gotta take them. Two, first card out, Ten of Wands reversed. This, that is dropping weight, dropping a burden. So you're dropping something. Something is being let go that has been weighing you down. Maybe you're dropping weight. Maybe that's what you're focusing on. Or your weight. Or you're just dropping weight for some reason. Maybe that's what you need to focus on is dropping weight. If it's not weight, it's a burden that needs to be let go of. Uh, then we have the two of wands. That's a choice. That's a decision at a crossroads. You have to choose. You're going to have to make a decision this week about what you are letting go of. Okay, or about whatever it is that you're holding on to. The Ten of Wands reversed is making a conscious change. So if say say if it's actual weight, you have to make the change. It's your choice. Twos are about choices. If you want to lose weight, then you're gonna to have to focus on that. If it's not about weight in particular, if you've been carrying a burden, if you've been carrying baggage, you've been doing too much, maybe you need to choose to let go of responsibilities so that you can have some balance in your life. This is about restoring balance, making a choice to do so. The Two of Wands is a decision. You, it's, it looks like you have an opportunity to focus on something. It will require leaving something behind. Um, but the choice is yours. That's being at the crossroads, sitting on the fence, and needing to focus on the future. Whatever has happened in the past, that's the past. Let it go. Focus on the future. Something that has been holding you back is being released, however that resonates with you. I feel like you've been in a very tough position. You may have had to defend yourself. Maybe this week you're still needing to defend yourself. Seven of Wands is a card of protection and defense and, you know, being poked perhaps and feeling the need to protect yourself or needing to protect yourself. There is protection here, though, with the Star card. I feel like you are prote protected from, an, you know, an outside source like a higher power, you know, somebody, maybe somebody that has passed away or a spirit guide or angels or something there is some sort of spiritual protection here a wish is going to be granted for you i feel like you have had to fight you know you've had to fight but now you're not going to have to fight anymore this you're going to start to feel some sort of relief from whatever this is that you've had to deal with something has been weighing you down very heavily it's been causing you um a lot of stress even probably affecting your health, everything is going to change. It's going to change. Things are going to start to get better. I see you moving in a new direction. I see you getting in the driver's seat, mastering emotions, taking charge, finding discipline and willpower to leave something behind. You are leaving something behind that brought you a lot of unhappiness with the four of wands reversed. The party is over. Okay, this is a messy situation. It's cleanup time. I see you definitely traveling. Some of you are def are traveling to a new place or going in a new direction. 
Um, I feel like the choice has already been made or, or you're making it this week. Maybe you're deciding to protect yourself. Um, maybe you have to. Maybe it's like, I got to protect myself. I got to go. Somebody may be packing up, taking a ride with that chariot card. You know, I do see travel here as well. Some of you are traveling or moving. Um, you may have, or there is a relocation with the Four of Wands. There could be a new home on the horizon. Perhaps you've been in an unhappy environment where there's been a lot of um, disharmony. You know, there just has been a lot of discontent. And now you're just ready to go. Ready, ready, ready. I mean, that, that chariot is, is moving in a new direction very, very, very fast. Moving away from... It feels like moving away from home. Somebody may be moving home, away from home and they, whoever, you know, and I don't know how that resonates with you, but this is making a choice to uh, protect yourself. I, and you are going to be protecting yourself and you have some sort of guidance here. Um, now, the star card is a card of wish fulfillment. It's a wish being granted that leads you to guaranteed success. And this is guaranteed success as well. Once you take charge and you find the discipline to leave behind this, I don't know, something you've been committed to. It feels like, I don't know if it's a marriage or a partnership or or something that may that you somebody that you live with you know once you leave this behind you are you are you will have victory you will have success you are headed towards success this is dealing with opposition this is this is determination okay i see this is a time of transformation okay you 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 are mastering your emotions you are in control i feel like some of your hard work is starting to pay off or it's going to pay off I see mental strength here being very, very, very strong, finding the mental strength to take back control of a situation. Some of you, this literally has to do with weight, you know, gaining weight or losing weight, whatever it is that you need to do, or dropping something that has been weighing you down, choosing, you know what, I'm letting this go. This is not making me happy. You know, it's not. It's not making me happy. So I, I see you really uh, finding a lot of discipline to control yourself this week. You know, uh, a lot of strength, being, being in your own power this week, which is interesting. I feel like there's some sort of expansion here. You may be broadening your horizons, um, traveling to a new destination. And that could even be mentally. Um, I think you've been indecisive. You know, you were wondering, should you stay or should you go? You know, I think I think whatever this is, perhaps it is time to go. It's time to go. I think you've been in a cold place. Maybe it's time to go where, you know, there's a lot more light. There's, it's, there's more, uh, you know, warmth. Okay, this is cold, but we have all this heat maybe you want to maybe you want to go to a place where there's uh warmth um the car the star card is help arriving after the tower has fall, fallen being guided being guided out of a situation that may have ended in disaster because the tower comes before the star. You may have been involved in a situation that, you know, was unstable or insecure. There may have been an explosion or there may have been major disruption or, you know, a crumbling of an empire. You know, or somebody's moving away from home. They're moving away from home. Maybe you've been, you've been indecisive about this move. It's definitely time to go. It is time to go. There could be some fear here. Let go of your fear. This is a healing energy. The star card is a card of healing. It's almost like you're being guided to go. There will be success. I also feel like you're going to be receiving some unexpected help this week and I'm not I'm not sure who it's from but there's like unexpected help arriving. 
I feel like you've been in a tough position and, you know, perhaps you just need to stop holding on to that position. Just walk away. If you're in a tough position, whether it's a job or a family relationship or a family feud or whatever, maybe it's time to just walk away. Leave it behind. Why keep fighting? Why, why keep walking on eggshells? Just go. It's time to go. I feel like you've, there, this is opposition and this is opposition. You need to find your strength and your courage to deal with change and deal with opposition. You're probably going to be dealing with some opposition this week. You know, maybe you're opposing something. Maybe you don't want to let go of something. Maybe it has to do with a position, you know, but you know, maybe there's too many responsibilities. This is a chance to let go and focus on the future. Go step into unknown territory and do something you've never done before. Anyhow, I, I think that you are moving in a new direction. And I think it's time for you to let go of whatever it is that has been causing you so many challenges. Eight of Cups reverse. This is thinking about leaving, not, but not happy where you're at, but not actually leaving yet. So you're thinking about a lot, a lot. This is pretending to be happy. This is staying put, avoiding, refusing to move on from an emotionally disappointing situation. If you're thinking about it, there's a reason. The star card is a card of reason. I feel like you're protecting yourself. You are protecting yourself from the unknown. You have a, you, the, the two of wands is two choices, right? You have two choices. You can stay put. You can stay here, you know, where there's no growth, where there is no growth. It's not happy. There's discontentment. You're, you've got a lot of responsibilities. You're in a tough position. Or you can just step into unknown territory. And pray and hope for the best. You will be successful if you can have faith. Because the star card is a card of faith. In believing. There is success here. So I feel like a lot of you are thinking about leaving a commitment. Something you are committed to. Maybe it's, it could be a job. Could be somebody that you live with. I don't know. And you, and, but... It's hard to do. It's hard to do because you've accepted this as like, it's almost like it's your responsibility to stay here, right? You, you, you got to, you got to take care of this. No, you don't. It's not your responsibility. You have another option. The grass is greener over there. Okay. Over there on the other side, the grass is greener. Go. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel as though you are being guided out of a situation that really isn't making you happy. And it's like you've all, you, you're always in these situations where you have to defend yourself. You, ha, you know, you have, and you got so many responsibilities. You don't have, you chose it. You choose to stay in this situation. You can choose to move away from it at any time. All you gotta do is get in your car and go. So anyway, I feel like this is a week where you master your emotions. I mean, that chariot is, is packing up, it's leaving, it's, it could be planning. Um, Ten of Cups. Look at that. We got the ocean there. It's beautiful. Happiness. Headed right towards happiness. This is a spiritual blessing. I mean, this is where the storm ends and you can just be at peace. Maybe you need to go to the ocean. Maybe you need a break. Maybe you need a vacation. 
Maybe you go explore the, the, the new place that you want to go to. There's a great big world out there. You see the world card? I mean, well, that's a two of wands, but you see the world up there? The world is a major completion of a phase in your life. That phase of your life is over. It's, it's, this is a new beginning. It's a new era. It's a new chapter. It's time for you to go down that unknown path, the, the path that you have not traveled yet. It's time. You will be successful. Have faith. Believe. Replace that fear with faith and go down that path. So anyway, I do believe that you are headed towards peace and harmony and wish fulfillment as soon as you get in the driver's seat and take the reins. As soon as you drop whatever this is that is weighing you down, as soon as you make that conscious change to let something go that you have been, uh, that has been challenging you. This is a serious challenge. And you've accepted the challenge, right? It's like, no, I like being in this position. No, you don't. Or you wouldn't be thinking about leaving. I mean, the Eight of Cups is pretending to be happy in reversed. You can't pretend to be happy if you're not happy. And you're, you're not happy, not happy. Somebody is in an emotionally disappointing situation and they're unwilling to just turn around and walk away. Turn around and walk away. If you can't walk away, that's your fear. And fear is based on ego. And, you know, I think the biggest fear, a minute ago we had the five of pentacles on the bottom. Now we have the ten of swords. That is the end of a painful situation. Okay, but we did have the five of pentacles before I shuffled. The biggest fear is financial insecurity. You know, don't let that hold you back. There is help everywhere. And everybody needs help. There are jobs everywhere. Anyhow, the Ten of Swords is the end of a painful situation. This is a breakdown. It's the death of a situation. It's goodbye. Perhaps it's time to say goodbye and go after your peace. Go find peace. The Ten of Cups is happiness, fulfillment. The storm is over. A rainbow comes after a storm. The storm is over. You may need to face some sort of chaos or event. The tower comes before the star. That is a life-changing event. You may need to face, you know, disruption. You may have to face confrontation, okay? But it's time to start with a clean slate. There is help. You will receive help and you will be successful. So anyway, I do believe this. And you will be moving into a much better place where there's a lot of light, sunlight, and warmth. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel like you're making a very significant life-changing choice this week. There is definitely a spiritual blessing here. You have spiritual blessing and blessing here. So there's some sort of blessing. A wish is being granted for you. Maybe this is what you asked for. Maybe you were asking for freedom or you were asking for better health or you were, you know talking to the universe saying you know I really this is hurting me or something like that and they heard you you're receiving some sort of spiritual help this week as well okay I feel like you 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 got a lot of competition where you're at Wherever you're at, there's a strong competition. And you always have to be on your toes. You never know what to expect next. 
Just leave. It feels like you've been waiting. You've been waiting for some sort of sign, right? You've been waiting for a sign. Here's your sign. It's time to go. Good luck.